Hello beautiful people and welcome to your weekly guidance for the 12th of April 2021 with me Julie Poole. Thank you for being here. Everything you need to know is in the description box below, the links to the cards that I use, how to book in with me, anything else you want, it's all there. So let's see what we've got coming out for this week of the 12th. Palace of Wands. Last week we had the Palace of Swords so it's there's a theme going on here. Uh -huh, we've got the world. The Three of Cups, the Palace of Cups, two palaces, and the Page of Cups. This is a very positive week, very positive. Those are the Tower of Dreams, by the way. This is the answer is simple. What else do we have, please, for the 12th? We want that one. Create. Beautiful. Very perfect energy for April. The energy cards, what do we have here, please? Thank you. The Garden and the Gate. And from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Yang energy. Mars energy, the leader, the doer, get on with it, take action. Which is absolutely perfect with that Palace of Wands in the middle. And the Rabbit Spirit now is a lucky time. Oh, I say. Well, this is looking really positive for this week of the 12th of April. I can feel we've been talking about this the last few weeks. The energy is just building up and building up into this new, new, better, brighter, bigger, beautiful energy. So your central energy, the Palace of Wands. Palaces are places, physical, tangible, touchable places. This can be home or work. This can be um, somebody else's home where you feel empowered. Maybe your parents' home, maybe your children's home, maybe wherever. This is a place where you can feel in charge, empowered, liberated. We've got the Knight of Wands sitting here. There's two of them with all of that power. We've got butterflies. This is about you really feeling very powerful, enthusiastic, motivated, this new, very Mars energy, uh, we're in um, airy season, is Mars energy of doing and action and bringing that passion back. Many of you this week are going back to work. I know in the UK, we're opening back up the shops and stuff on the 12th. This is this week. So many of you are getting back to work and the enthusiasm to say, thank God we're out of the house, just getting out and getting into a new environment it makes me feel so, so much better. And it's a very powerful week for that enthusiasm. I love it. Now, with the Palace of Cups next to it as well, again, another place where you feel emotionally in sync, emotionally in a good place. The Palace of Cups, is, the dolphins here signify play. We've got the Knight of Cups here as well, bringing in this energy of flow of mm, enrichment upliftment happiness laughter i'm loving this it's just oh this best week we've had for an age isn't it page of cups is bringing an opportunity towards you that is going to make you very happy this is a positive card for change the beginnings of change some of you may now be getting interviews for jobs or actually going back to work being able to move home if you want to do that because we've got the home signified here twice so there is a lot of energy of shifting forward into happiness the happiness is what's wanting to come back in after to quite a mm, limited and restricted time and that time is done we've got the world it's this major endings major cycles finishing the worst is now behind actually they're correcting me it is now behind you it's not just the worst of it it's behind you this is a fresh start this is a new beginning have a look at last week's um, reading again um because there it was the wheel of fortune and serendipity and shifting and changing into this new cycle and this is confirming the old is now done because if you look back at last week there was also a lot of healing energy letting go of the old to allow the new to come in and this week the world is saying that's now healed it's now done we've finished with it it's out of the way well done 
pat on the back, big tick, we've finished that cycle. We can now move fully into this connection. And again, remembering last week, we had the community card. This is also the community card, Three of Cups. This is friendships and parties and getting together and being with people again. And this can be just getting back to work and being with your colleagues, your teammates, just being with people again. And it's so needed. This is what you are really wanting this week week it feels so beautiful and it's a lucky time we've got this lucky rabbit here the rabbit spirit bringing this luck towards you so last week we had the wheel of fortune which is luck and good fortune and with this week again we've got more luck so this is a really lucky time here now it's the number 49 which comes down to a four and fours are foundations so this is a really good time for you to be stretching your foundations to make them stronger to make them wider bigger deeper higher just increasing expanding your foundation so whether that foundation is your home or whether it's your job your income this is a lucky time to be getting strong in your foundation now but you are taking action you're being asked to take action on it so number one which is the card of the leader and yang is masculine energy of doing so sometimes we need to be in the yin energy of being but this week we are in the doing and it doesn't surprise me at all as the central energy is the palace of wands so we are in that energy of doing go 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 okay mars action of leading i'm in power in my own power to lead my life forward do you see the face here in there all right this is the universe guiding you your inner being your inner universe guiding you forward to be able to take the action and a feeling as well with these hands open it's 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 like a gift from the universe saying here you go here's your enthusiasm back here's your passion back here's your connections back here's the end of that horrible cycle that actually although it was hard and horrible it has grown us and developed us in resilience and compassion and understanding now we can take all of that forward and we want to create we want to take that forward to create something new what is it that you want to create what wants to come into your life and your being? In this card, she's creating a beautiful hedge here with these swans, but it doesn't matter what it is. This is an energy this week of creating new jobs, new power, new connections, new love, new hope, new wishes, new dreams. What do you want to create? And those of you that can actually tangibly do some form of creating get in the garden and create go and plant some flowers go and plant some seeds and bulbs this is the time now to begin to create or bake or write or whatever your creative bag is make music do what you need to do to create you're in this energy of creation which is beautiful because what it does is again it brings us back to the power it brings us back to the connections within and it's just I'm just showing me a firework exploding of light and power and upliftment all around you now we've got the garden and the gate three is a number of expansion all of this is about expanding into the new now what do you want to create so the garden the gate is saying step out of the gate step out of your comfort zone see the butterfly here transformation beautiful garden but it's time now to go and explore what's on the other side this is a card saying get out of your comfort zone don't just do what you've always done go and do something different there is where you're going to find the creative power the creative force if you always walk in a certain park go to a different park get out of the city get up onto the moors the the hills the the mountains just get out somewhere different if you always go to a particular um, friend go to a different friend or take your friend out with you somewhere differently you've got to be being asked to stretch yourself get out of your comfort zone and stretch yourself and that is what enables you to really 
pull in this power, this enthusiasm towards you to enrich and uplift your life. But it's a beautiful, lucky, lucky week. Fabulous. All right, my darlings, that is what I have for you for this week of the 12th of April. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate your time on my channel. Do give this video a like if it resonated for you and a share. And thank you for subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.